Dear friends, uh, distinguished uh, academicians, it's quite cold here today <laughs> in Estonia. Uh, but um, I think uh, uh, previous speaker uh, said uh, he hopes uh, we are using the theory of balancing, where in, in, in politics this is a universal matter. In legality issues, uh, this is something uh, we are truly in Estonia um, during almost a uh, generation have used uh, this method of finding a uh, objectiveness in legal matters. But uh, let me first say that uh, this is an extraordinary event on, on uh, looking from the uh, perspective of the Estonian government. I'm very proud of uh, that uh, Tallinn University, all the partners uh, have arranged that uh, event. And we are living in very turbulent times, we all know that. Um, Democratura, the concept of illiberal democracy, post-truth democracy, democracy under radical religious thought. Those are truly realistic concepts of uh, framework of democracy where the very heart or the very core of democracy is uh, either partially being uh, killed or uh, being uh, harmed. And as we see, there is a horrifying universe, uh, universality of the uh, concept of crimes against humanity. Now, where it rises its ugly head, there is a huge catalogue of uh, the universal uh, elements in that. And um, about 20 years ago, in Estonia, Estonian Minister of Justice uh, arranged a expertise commission and analyze on Estonian uh, constitution which has been five years old then. And one of the uh, very prominent experts uh, of our current constitution, we are very sad, lately passed away, uh, former President uh, Roman Herzog. He was actually one of the foreign experts. And so um, there was a bright uh, and new um, official in the Estonian Ministry of Justice uh, who made his doctoral thesis uh, in uh, Kiel University. Madi Zernitz, who is now a judge, is sitting there. And uh, Madi Zernitz said that uh, he is a uh, tutor, his mentor in the Kiel University is Professor Robert Alexi. Nobody knew about him. Uh, <laughs> Robert Alexi, uh, in, in the, those times, the Minister of Justice. But, but Madi had the knowledge. And uh, Robert Alexi wrote a uh, piece of paper, which is actually has been a certain... Uh, uh, a new testament, I would say, uh, of the uh, Estonian legal thought on uh, fundamental rights, uh, analyzing the uh, second chapter of the Estonian constitution where the individual freedoms uh, and duties are uh, regulated. And what is important, as Madi told to me, that actually in that analysis, uh, uh, what uh, Professor Alexei wrote uh, 20 years ago, it contained an idea which, as far as I know, uh, mm, mm, he hasn't repeated anywhere else. He hasn't repeated anywhere else. And this is actually uh, the idea of an uh, exhaustive or comprehensive in German, as Matthias told to me, umfassend constitutional rights theory, Grundrechtswissenschaft. He used this as a base methodology for this work, for this piece of paper. And let me, uh, if Professor allows, to quote uh, that piece of paper. And I will uh, continue with quotation. On the one hand, constitutional rights are important components of a national legal system. On the other hand, however, they extend across national legal systems. The cross-national system in three different ways, substanti substantially, institutionally, and systematically. Constitutional rights 
cannot fit into national scope for substantial reasons because they, complying with their requirements, include human rights. But human rights apply universally regardless of the politi uh, politicization, which is why they make the requirements for each legal system. And let me quote uh, another um, uh, chapter. What kind of constitutional rights are in place? Is it only liberal rights of, to freedom or also the right to protection and fundamental social rights? Who is the receiver of constitutional rights and who is the bearer of constitutional rights? Which formal and material assumptions may restrict constitutional rights? Where and how wide is the scope of the legislator? What is the relationship between rights to freedom and rights to equality? The similarity of such questions in the background of substantial and institutional similarities provides a lead for the emergence of a constitutional rights theory covering individual legal orders, creating something far more extensive than comparative science of law. And this is comprehensive constitutional rights theory. The aim of comprehensive constitutional rights theory is not to level different constitutional legal orders. On the contrary, such differences provide it with new stimuli and tasks. The aim of the field is to open up dogmatic structures and to develop principles and values behind codifications and judicial decisions. Confusion and lack of overview may therefore become systematically analyzed and thus the best kind of diversity, thus also presenting itself as unity, the end of quotation. And um, let me say, I think uh, the modern bre breakthrough for Estonian uh, legal society actually the basis uh, was uh, that piece of paper. From that were uh, also rise and theory of uh, establishing a catalogue of proportionality to evaluate uh, different rights. And um, this has become a, such a normality, actually, in Estonian uh, uh, legal thought or in Estonian constitutional thought that I think uh, the current charges, many charges, or, or uh, lawyers or practicing uh, advocates don't, uh, as always it happens, uh, well, mm, many people are not aware or uh, who actually found or discovered the telephone. So, so Professor Alexei, you actually, uh, this is something, uh, one thing is uh, academic idea, academic concept. Another thing is actually what is its outcome outcome in reality, and uh, it has become a reality. And uh, it gave us modern thought to defend people's rights, and what is, I think, the, uh, has a similar importance. It, it actually made us also uh, mentally a part of European legal order, a part of uh, a modern thought of, uh, of uh, fundamental rights in Europe. And uh, this is a path of generation but uh, at the beginning there was a word, at the beginning there was a thought, and I'm truly lucky that uh, Madis Ernitz uh, studied uh, in Kiel, and, and he met you, uh, Professor Robert Alexi. So you are actually uh, a founding father of our modern uh, philosophy of uh, defend of fundamental rights in practice. And actually the man who uh, later on uh, introduced it to the uh, Estonian constitutional review practice is sitting there, uh, Uno Lohmus, who is uh, our former uh, chairman of uh, uh, Supreme Court and also constitutional review chamber. So it happens, uh, and I'm, I'm truly happy uh, about that event. I'm truly proud of all the missions we have received uh, all over the Europe here. And I'm, on behalf of the Estonian uh, government, let the, uh, I, I would say, uh, uh, let the God bless that conference. And let the, uh, also, uh, let us uh, be truthfully thankful for the uh, piece of paper and academic work uh, you, Professor Alexei, have personally made. 
and you are not the, and actually Matis is not the only uh, student of Professor Alexi who has uh, given a lot to our um, legal, uh, uh, legal uh, um, uh, community. Uh, Martin Borowski is also one man who was a doc Professor Alexi student uh, from Kiel, who is now a professor uh, in Heidelberg, and uh, he has for many, many years instructed the student and judges. And he has done it also under the umbrella philosophy of Professor Alexi. So you are, I think uh, there's not more practical in today's world, which is actually crazy, uh, than clear, clear uh, vision and uh, academic understanding. And this is one thing, this is a knowledge, but another hint is also a understanding uh, from the bottom of soul who we believe we are as human beings, uh, uh, our respect to human dignity. And um, but who sent Madis Ernest to learn to kill, as we are trying to get etymology? This was actually Professor Peter Järveleit, who himself uh, was also a lecturer in Germany. So this is etymology of the crime, as we see. <laughs> so friends, uh, let, uh, let, let have a fruitful discussions uh, and uh, enjoy the cold weather in Tallinn. Thank you.